Hey, Chan Carter here. Just want to bring you a quick video. i show you three new apps. The one you're about ready to see here is Ball Pit. Uh, it's pretty neat. Um, I've, seen, I've seen some others. It's not super new, uh, but I haven't uh, shown it before, so I'm going to show it real quick. And then the next one I'm going to show you um, is called Hollow Blocks. And it's my favorite of the three uh, that I'll be showing. Um, the last one is, I believe, Daco uh, Demo Door or something like that. Uh, I forgot the name, uh, but you'll see it. You'll, you'll see the start screen of that one. Uh, but anyway, these are uh, all pretty cool apps. Again, my favorite is Hollow Blocks. Uh, it just uses the spatial mapping information really, really well, which a ball pit does as well. I'm not trying to knock anything off of a ball pit because it definitely uses the spatial mapping uh, pretty, good, pretty good as well. And you can actually see right here um, the occlusion is, is working well. Unfortunately, we got some stuttering in the video uh, because of my I was overtaxing my, uh, my machine, I believe. Um, so when it was trying to stream it to my machine, I think it was having a hard time. Uh, it could have been the HoloLens, but I don't think so. I actually think it was my, my machine at the time. Um, but either way, uh, you can actually see where the balls are hidden. And then when I look around the couch, you kind of got the green ball poking out right now. Uh, but when you when I look around the couch, um, you can actually see, uh, see the balls there. So the occlusion is working pretty well. Um, but the, uh, the next one here, hollow blocks. Um, so again, that was ball pit. But the next one here is called Hollow Blocks, and I was really, really impressed. Here in just a little bit, you'll actually see as I'm spawning uh, the different blocks, and you can—I didn't even show how things you can do. You can resize the uh, resize the things. You can move them, take off gravity, uh, all kinds of neat things. Uh, but either way, um, it does the scan of the room at the very beginning, which I think it does a good job at that. Um, and I, he obviously has some uh, custom code uh, outside of just the default things that. Uh, now a lot of people are using it in the Unity projects. Um, and so he is getting the spatial mapping and chances are he's probably doing some post-processing on as well, trying to flatten out some surfaces and things. Uh, but here in just a little bit, you will see uh, as I'm spawning a bunch of things on, on the couch uh, that it handles, it handles the volume or the number of, of things pretty well. And of course he just has physics enabled on the objects. Um, but what's great is uh, just how smooth it rolls off of the pillows and onto the couch and then finally off the couch into the floor. All right, so with that, I will, uh, I'll leave it be and let you take a look at these. The only other thing I'll mention is that uh, next week, uh, my goal is to actually dig into spatial mapping a little bit um, just to show you um, what the hall and sees and how that works. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you don't want to miss it, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can be reminded uh, next week. Y'all have a good one.
close the door. Oven door. Close door. <laughs>